Hello and welcome to our uh, returning visit to the Townley Plays. This is a first look session looking at plays 4 to 8, uh, the Townley uh, manuscript uh, presenting uh, a whole raft of different plays that may come from slightly different sources um, or may not, depending on your point of view. Opinions do vary. Um, the manuscript is sadly damaged for a lot of our session today, so so we're, we're going to have some uh, plays where we're just going to get little snippets and an idea of what's going on, uh, especially as many of these plays are essentially sequential uh, and do things that actually doesn't really pop up in other mystery cycles. We do have uh, alternative versions of uh, some of these, but not within a cycle context, so it's a bit of a shame. Uh, reading uh, with us today, reading uh, God initially and then later on, Moses is. Hello, I'm Helen Good and I'm in Hull. Uh, reading uh, First Poor Jacob and Second Soldier today is. Hi, I'm Eric and yeah, I can't think of anything funny right now. It will come back to me eventually. Uh, reading uh, Isaac, Rachel, David, and Pharaoh is. Liza Graham in London. It's very sunny here. It's nice. Uh, reading Second Poor Angel, Rebecca, Lyra, Sibylla, uh, Sibylla and uh, God at the End is. Hello, I'm Angela. I'm also based in London and uh, I'm going to try very hard not to be a fallen angel. Indeed. Uh, reading Abraham, Esau, Daniel and First Soldier is. That's Steve Longstaff in sunny North Lancashire. And I'm your host, Robert Crichton. I will be reading what stage directions there are. Uh, there aren't that many. And uh, I, I don't know, maybe I'll be the burning bush. Who knows? Um, without further ado, we are going to dive into uh, play four. Um, and of course, got to be a bit careful about the play numbering. Different editions have different numbering systems. Uh, but we're calling this play four. Um, and uh, we're going to dive into a cheerful, happy story of Abraham. So let's find out what's happening in the Abraham household Adonai thou God verre thou hearest when we to thee call as thou art he that best may thou art most succour and help of all mightful Lord to thee I pray that honours the oil of mercy fall shall I never abide that day truly yet I hope I shall mercy Lord omnipotent, long since he this world has wrought, whither are all our elders went, this muse is mickle in my thought, from Adam unto Eve ascent, eat of that apple, spared he naught, for all the wisdom that he meant, full dear that bargain has he bought. From paradise thou bade him gang, he went mourning, a simple cheer, and after lived he here full lang, more than three hundredth year, in sorrow and in travail strang, and every day he was in weir. His childer angered him a man, Cain slew Abel, was him full dear. So the Noah, that was true and good, his wife and his children three, was saved when all was flood. That was a wonder thing to see. And Lot, of Sodom, when he owed three cities, Brent, yet escaped he. Thus, for they mended my Lord's mode, he venged sin through his posty. When I think of our elders all and of the marvels that has been, no gladness in my heart may fall. My comfort goes away full clean. Lord, when shall dead make me his thrall? A hundred years, certes, have I seen. A far soon I hope he shall, for it, it were right high time, I ween. Yet Adam is to hell gone. There is lingen many a day, and all our elders, every one, they are gone the same way. To God will hear their moan. Now help, Lord Adonai, 
For certes, I can no better wone, and there is none that better may. I will help Adam and his kind. Might I love and loyalty find? Would they to me be true and blin, and of, of their pride and of their sin? My servant I will found and frast, Abraham, if he be trust, on certain wise I will him prove, if he to me be true of love. Abraham, Abraham! Who is that? Well, let me see. I heard one, never my name. It is I. Take tent to me that formed thy father, Adam, and everything in it degree. To hear thy will, ready I am, and to fulfil whatever it may be. Of mercy I have heard thy cry, thy devout prayers have me bun. If thou me love, look that thou high unto the land of Vision. And the third day be there, bid I, and take with thee Isaac thy son as a beast to sacrify. To slay him look thou not shun, and bring him there to thine offerant. Oh, loved be thou, Lord, in throne. Hold over me, Lord, thy holy hand, for certes thy bidding shall be done. Blessed be that Lord in every land would visit his servant thus so soon. Fain would I this thing go down. It profits not to hoin. This commandment must I needs fulfill, if that my heart wax heavy as lead. Should I offend my Lord's will? Nay, yet were I liefer, my child were dead. Or so he bids me, good or ill, that shall be done in every steed. If both wife and child, if he bids spill, I will not do against his reed. Mr. Isaac, where so he were, he would be abashed now, now that he is in danger. Isaac, son, where art thou? Already, father, lo, me here. Now was I coming unto you. I love you mickle, father dear. Dost thou so? I would wit how loves me, loves thou me, son, as thou hast said. Yea, father, with all my heart, more than all that ever was made, God hold me long your life in quart. Well, who would not be glad that had a child so loving as thou art? Thy lovely cheer makes my heart glad, and many a time so have it got. Go home, son. Come soon again. Tell thy mother I come full fast. Go now. God thee save and sane. And here Isaac turns away from his father. You know, well is me that he is past. Alone, right here in this plain, might I speak to mine heart brast. I would that all were well, full fain, but it must needs be done at last. And it is good that I be war to be advised, for good it were. The land of vision is full far. The third day end, must I be there? Mine ass shall with us, if it thou, to bear our harness, less and more, for my son may be slain, no, no. A sword must with us yet, therefore, and I shall found to make me yar. This night will I begin my way, though Isaac be never so fair, and mine own son, the sooth to say, and though he be, mine right heir, and all should wield after my day. God's biding shall I not spare. Should I that can stand? Hey, now, I fain. Isaac. Sir. 
and look where we bound. For certain, son, that the self and I, we too must now wend forth of town in far country to sacrifice. For certain skills and enchison take wood and fire with thee in high. By hills and dales, both up and down, son, thou shalt ride, and I will go by. Look thou, miss naught that thou should need. Do make thee ready, my darling. I am ready to do this deed and ever to fulfill your bidding. Yes, son, look thou, have no greed. We shall come home with great loving. Both to and fro I shall us lead. Come now, son, in my blessing. Uh, ye two here, with this ass abide, for Isaac and I will to yon hill. It is so high we may not ride. Therefore, ye two shall abide here still. Sir, ye are not to be denied. We, we are ready your bidding to fulfil. Whatsoever to us betide, to do your bidding, I we will. Blessing, have ye both in fear. I shall not tarry long, ye friend. Sir, we shall abide you here. Out of this steed shall we not go. Childer, ye are I to me full dear. I pray God keep you ever for a woe. We will do, sir, as ye us, Leary. Isaac, now we both be two. We must go a full good pace, for it is farther than I wend. We shall make mirth and great solace by this thing be brought to end. Lo, my son, here is the place. Wood and fire are in my hand. Tell me now, if ye have space, where is the beast that should be brend? Now, son, I may no longer lane. Such will is into mine heart went. Thou was ever to me full bane, ever to fulfil mine intent. But certainly thou must be slain. And it may be as I have meant. I am heavy, and nothing fain thus hastily that shall be shent. Isaac. Sir? Come hither, bid I. Thou shalt be dead, whatsoever be tied. Oh, Father, mercy, mercy. What I say may not be denied. Take thy deed, therefore, meekly. Ah, oh, good sir, abide. Father. What? Son? To do your will, I am ready, wheresoever ye go or bide. If I may ought overtake your will, sin I have trespassed, I would be bet. Isaac. What, sir? Good son, be still. Father. What, son? Think on thy get. What have I done? Not truly, none ill. And shall be slain? So have I het. So what may help? Set is no skill. I ask mercy. That may not let. When I am dead and closed in clay, who shall then be your son? Lord, that I should abide this day. Sir, who shall do that I was one? Speak no such words, son, I thee pray. Shall ye me slow? Trow I'm on. Lie still. I smite. Sir, let me say. Now, my dear child, thou may not, Sean. The shining of your bright blade, it goes me quake for fear to thee. Therefore, gross things thou shalt be laid. When I strike, thou shalt not see. What have I done, Father? What have I said? Truly, no kin still to me. And thus guiltless shall be arrayed? Good son, let such words be. I love you. I. 
So do I thee. Father. What? Son. Let now be seen for my mother love. Let be. Let be. It will not help. That thou would mean. Lie still till I come to thee. I miss a little thing, I ween. He speaks so ruefully to me that water shoots in both mine eyes. I will lever then on wardly wind that I have fond him once unkind, but no default I find him in. I would be deed for him, or pined to slay him. Thus I think great sin. So rueful words I with him find. I'm full of woe that we should twin. He will never out of my mind. What shall I to his mother say? Oh, where is he? Tied with his fear. Oh, I tell her, run away. Her answer disbelief. Nay, sir, I am feared her for to flay. I know what, what I shall say to her. He lies full still there, as he lay. But do I come, dare he not stir? Angel, high with all thy mane, to Abraham thou shalt be sent. Say, Isaac shall not be slain, he shall live and not be brent. My bidding stands he not again. Go, put him out of his intent. Bid him go home again. I know well how he meant. Gladly, Lord, I am ready. Thy bidding shall be magnified. I shall me speed full hastily, thee to obey at every tide. Thy will, thy name to glorify over all this world so wide, and to thy servant now in high, good, true Abraham, will I guide, glide. Might I yet a weeping cease till I had done this sacrifice? Must needs be, without and less, though all I carp on this kin, carp on this kin wise, the more my sorrow it will increase. When I look to him, I grise. I will rin on a reese and slow him here right as he lies. Abraham, Abraham. Who is there now? What? Let thee go. Stand up now, stand. Thy good will come, I to allow. Therefore I bid thee, hold thy hand. Say who bad thou, any bot thou. Yea, God, and sends this beast to thine offerand. I speak with God, latter, I trow. I do as he me command. He has perceived thy meekness and thy goodwill also, I wis. He will thou do thy son no distress, for he has grant to thee his bliss. But what thou well that it is as thou hast said. I say thee. Yes. I thank thee, Lord, well of goodness that all thus has released me this. To speak with thee have I no space with my dear son till I have spoken. My good son, thou shalt have grace, and thee now will I not be broken. Rise up now with thy freely face. Sir, shall I live? Yea, this the token. And he kisses him. And thou hast escaped full heart grace. Thou should have been both brent and broken. But, father, shall I not be slain? No, certes, son. Then I am glad, good sir, put up your sword again. Idolism, <laughs> be thou not a dread. Is all forgiven? Nay, son, 
<laughs> For feared, sir, I was near hand mad. And there, sadly, we have lost the end of the, of the text. Though, looking in comparison with where other plays of Abraham and Isaac end, uh, we probably actually haven't lost that much. Uh, probably just a few wrap-up lines. Um, it's a shame uh, to lose anything, but I d it's not as bad as it could have been, as you'll find out in a moment. Um, we've now done every Abraham and Isaac uh, variation uh, that survives uh, uh, across the cycles, the surviving uh, non-mystery cycles, um, uh, uh, non-cycle uh, mysteries, uh, and even some random translations from the French. Uh, so we, we've done a lot of Abraham and Isaacs. We've done an awful lot of strategies for how do you cope with uh, when your father wants to chop your head off. Um, this Isaac is so different. The other Isaacs, almost all of them, tend to be speechifying uh, on some level. This one is not that articulate at all. It's all da 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 da. Uh, but uh, you know, and there's something really nice about that. I mean, it's 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 unusual in quite a lot of medieval drama to have this kind of dialogue. Because, you know, this is really, you know, it's it's not here is a speech, here is a speech, here is a speech. And, uh, you know, it is word, a couple of words, four words, one word. It, it's 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 really broken up and it's really interesting um, about how that's that's all functioning. Thoughts on the room? Uh, Stephen. Uh, a lot of those words are either father or son. Mm. Th th there's your speeches. There's your soliloquies. Mm. There, there, there's the, the repetition of these in these different contexts and these different emotional contexts. This this works in a Stanislavskian universe, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. You know, when when I used to uh, when I used to pay more attention to criticism, I used to get these sort of idiot early modernists who used to say, "Oh, well, of course, they didn't really have subjectivity before, you know, the 16th century or something like that." <laughs> um, it, I, 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 it really is um, it really does feel like trust your actors mm. it really does feel like less is more and, and the um, Abraham has a lot more to say mm. but you know it is it is really you know um, it is really kind of Chekhovian you know you kind of a couple of lines and then there's a turn and you go somewhere else with it yeah. And in the thinking, you know, the logic of Isaac in that situation, you know, he's not going to have time to think of a logical series of, of responses. You know, his his appeals are, you know, he's got nothing. He, he, he's he got nothing uh, to come back with um, for uh, for any of this. And, and to a degree, neither does Abraham. Uh, it's fascinating. Um, uh, Helen. Sorry. Oh, sorry. No, Stephen, continue your thought. What I've just said, it, it feels like, I know they go on about him being old and so forth, but it feels like a, a young child. Hmm. Isaac is, is really young. Hmm. Uh, Helen, then Eliza. Yeah, I was waiting for Abraham to tell Isaac why he was doing it. And he never does. I was expecting him to say, God has commanded it. Because Isaac's... Yeah, because Isaac's constantly going, "What have, have I? What have I done wrong?" Um, ha yeah. And even at the end, he's going, "Is, is all forgiven?" Like it was Am his I fault. forgiven? Yeah. What a line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry, I stepped over you. Any more, Helen? No, it, it was just, uh, and and God is. God has a plan. God always has a plan. Yeah. <laughs> Not saying it's a good plan. Um, well, it works. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, at the cost of traumatizing two important people for the Bible story, but yes, it works. Couldn't you just sent a note, you know, yeah. um, asked him. Also, you know, we don't have Mrs. Abraham, whose name I have forgotten. Uh, Sarah. 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 Mm, yes, we, we. I don't think we had Sarah turns up very often, actually. Um, I think she's in one, maybe two of the other, uh, but she's not a necessarily regular. We do have the two uh, ass wranglers uh, are, are in play um, as the uh, it's always nice to have uh, an ad saying to our quadruped uh, playlist, uh, which I must yes. uh, I must get around to producing uh, plays that require um, a significant number of four legged animals. Uh, Liza. 
Well, going back to your point about Isaac's speeches being a lot shorter, I think the short responses really build up some tension here. Uh, and it also, I guess, in terms of casting, lets you cast a younger boy actor. Uh, a, a, so, some, I think to handle the longer speeches, someone would have to be like an early teenager, but, but you, could, you could easily cast someone seven or eight here. And uh, that, which also, you know, it, it introduces a, a new kind of tension. I guess it's, uh, I guess it's easier to imagine wanting to sacrifice a teenager um, than, than someone younger. Well, it's, it's also, I mean, Isaac doesn't really say that much, even when he's not being threatened with death either. He doesn't do that expansiveness. Um, but it's, it's very effective, though, I think, mm. what he does have, especially afterwards. Like, that kid is traumatized. That mm. kid will never trust again. Mm. Uh, Stephen, and then Eric. Um, yeah, I was, I was struck uh, when I was reading Abraham. You know, we had that kind of... Uh, you know, for those who were asleep at the back bit, didn't we? But then the, it's reminiscent of a rather famous soliloquy. He, he sort of says, I'm really, really old. I've had enough of this life. I want to die. Uh, you know, I'm a hundred. And then he says, oh, what happens after death? And then, then he goes into Adam is to hell gone. And that's a, again, that's a remarkable um, twist, isn't it? You know, it's sort of the voice of the Bible, you know, the voice of the narrator, as it were, um, uh, doing the recap. And then he's presented as somebody who's just been absolutely ground down, worn down, he's had enough of life. It's not 100, you know, it's not like Noah, 600 years old, still, you know, woodworking. Not the ark, bring it on. Cubits, I'll show you cubits. You know, it's, it's not like that. He's, you know, he's, he's got no teeth. His leg, his eyes are old and bent, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then he goes, <laughs> "What happens then after death? They're mm. all, they're all in hell." And now I've got this. So I see that as a kind of, you know, that's the third thing. And that that I really wasn't expecting that. Mm. That beautifully sets up this sort of emotional dynamic which it then sort of retreats from a bit because i mean the actor would have to to do that journey because the words are just kind of oh well i better do it then you know mm. um, but you I, I think that that what comes before it i think is a bit of a clue that you don't have to just stand there and be dutiful mm. and it's, you know this 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 version isn't so interested in the minutiae or the irony uh, some of the others really play into the irony of the boy going, oh, daddy, where are we going now? Oh, isn't this a lovely place to have a bird? You know, oh, oh, there isn't a bee. Are you going, who, where, where's the beast, daddy? Um, and, and really uh, sort of twists the knife that way. Um, but it, it, it doesn't linger on those. It, it, it's much more actually net once the, the situation's in full play of just, uh, yeah, that, that, all those things. Eric, and then we will need to move on, sadly. I was going to say also the short lines are kind of, I, I can't remember where, oh yeah, where um, there's a part that Abraham said, describes um, Isaac as he lies full still there as he lay. Um, and it just, like, at some point I was like, okay, has he died already? What what happened? And then, okay, th then I realized, okay, obviously it's just like the description. But, um, like, at, think of it this way, when you're terrified of something, you wouldn't want to move. You wouldn't mm. even want to speak. So this is actually very true to life rather than sort of these long speeches. If you were staging that, you'd have to do that. That's a brilliant point, Eric. You'd yeah. have to have the kid totally still. And you go, oh, my God, he's died. He's died of fright. Well, it, 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 and it's actually there's something that's fascinating about the reproachfulness of, um, of Isaac because presumably Isaac is laying down uh, when he says, let now be seen for my mother love. I will now get into this, you know, uh, into this position. You know, that could be done in a way that's just really, really, um, yeah. That's going to hurt. It's all going to hurt. There's a lot of hurt in this play. It's fascinating that there are so many different variations on Abraham and Isaac that we have surviving. Um, but, you know, it's got so, it's loaded with so much potential. Um, it's not very nice potential, but it's, it's, it's there. Um 
though of course it just could just be random coincidence that so many survive rather than genuine uh, outnumbering of others Okay, we need to move on, sadly. We lost the last few lines of that play, um, and we unfortunately have lost the first few lines of the next as we jump forward in time. Isaac is now older and has uh, has children of his own, and there's a whole loyalty uh, blessing thing going on here. Uh, which son are you going to bless? Well, Isaac's uh, is is a bit blind, and uh, he's going to bless one of them. One of them's going to be in disguise as another. Um, and just remember here, it's very important. He's only got one blessing. No other blessings are allowed. There's only one. Once it's used up, that's the rules of the game. Okay, you 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 definitely can't have more. Um, so uh, this is, depending on what edition you're looking at, play 5 or 5A, five depending on your interpretation of how these plays break down. And we're going to enter the text midway through a scene. We've probably lost about 100 plus lines around about here. Come near, son. Kiss me, that I may feel the smell of thee. The smell of my son is like to a field with flowers or honey bike. Where art thou, Esau, my son? Here, father, and ask your benison. The blessing my father gave to me, God of heaven and I give thee. God give thee plenty great of wine, of oil, and of wheat, and grant thy children all to worship thee, both great and small. Whoso thee blesses, blessed be he, Whoso thee warest, warred be he, be he. Now hast thou my great blessing. Love thee shall all thine offspring. Go now whither thou hast to go. Grant mystery, sir, I will do so. And here, Jacob, it's not, it's not the other one, it's not Esau. Jacob moves away. Have it, father of mine hunting, and give me thither your blessing. Who is that? It's I, your son. Esau brings you venison. Who was that that was right now here and brought me bruit of a deer? I ate well and blessed him. He is blessed, each a limb. Well, as for I, my great and so. Thou art beguiled, though Jacob, through Jacob, that is thine own German brother. He kept me none other blessing than ye set in one. Of such another have I none. But God give thee to thine hand band the dew of heaven and the fruit of land. Other than this can I not say. Well, now, alas, and well away, may I with that traitor meet. My father's day shall come with grief, and my mother's also. May I him meet, I shall soon shall him slow. Isaac, it were my death if Jacob weddeth in kind of heth. I shall I will send him to Aaron, there my brother dwells, Laban, and there may he serve in peace, till his brother's wrath shall cease. Why should I upon a day lose both my sons? Better nay. Thou says sooth, wife, call him hither, and let us tell him where and whither that he may flee Esau, that us both heat spale to brew. Jacob, son, thy father and I would speak with thee. Come stand us by. Out of country must thou flee, that Esau slow not thee. Whitherward should I go now, dame? To Mesopotamia, to my brother and thine eam, that d dwells beside Jordan stream, and there may thou with him one, to Esau, mine other son, forget, and all his wrath be dead. I will go, father, at your read. Yea, son, do as thy mother says. Come, kiss us both, and wend thy ways. And they kiss. Have good day, sir and dame. God shield thee, son, from sin and shame. And give thee grace, good man to be, and send me glad tithings to thee. And that ends uh, the play of Isaac there. Um, so uh, 
we have the latter end. We've got, uh, and I say this is the only uh, medieval version of this uh, this tale. Uh, we have a later Tudor one, which is very interesting, um, uh, that we've uh, we've we've had a lot of fun with. Um, but yes, this is the setting up of co uh, contention between Esau and Jacob. And as I say, Isaac's only got one blessing, just the one. Once it's used up, you, you can't go back. Uh, briefly, any thoughts on this play? Uh, it'll probably be better to discuss this in more detail uh, once we've read the next play, uh, which is all about Jacob. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, any any brief thoughts before we move on? No? Okay, then we will go straight into play uh, number six, or 5B. Uh, some people have it. Um, and uh, we are focusing now on Jacob. And uh, we begin the play uh, with Jacob speaking. And uh, God's going to make a guest appearance. Help me, Lord Edene, and hold me in the right way to Mesopotamia. For I, I came never now where I am. I came never here in this country. Lord of heaven, thou help me, for I have made me in this street sore bones and walking feet. The sun is down, what is best? Her purpose, I will night, here purpose, I will night to rest. Under my head, this heed, this stone shall lie. A night's rest, take will I. Jacob, Jacob, thy God am I, of thy forefather Abraham, and of thy father Isaac. I shall thee bliss for their sake. This land that thou sleeps in, I shall thee give, and thy kin. <coughs> I shall thy seed multiply, as thick as powder on earth may lie. The kind of thee shall spread wide, from east to west on every side, from south unto the north, all that I say I shall forth, and all the folks of thine offspring shall be blessed of thy blessing. Jacob, have thou no kin's dread, I shall clo thee clothe, I shall thee feed. What fool shall I make thy gate, I shall thee help early and late. And all in court shall I bring thee home again to thy country. I shall not fail, be thou bold, but I shall do as I have told. And Jacob uh, wakes up, gets up um, uh, at this uh, this time, which is uh, Jacob awakes. Yes. Ah, Lord, what may this mean? What have I heard in sleep and seen? That God lamed him to a stay and spake to me. It is no late. And now here is here none other gate but God's house in heaven's gate. Lord, how dreadful is this stead! There I laid down my head. In God's loving I raised this stone, and oil will I put thereon. Lord of heaven that all wot, here to thee I make a hoat, if thou give me meat and food, and close to body as I behoved, and bring me home to kith and kin by the way that I walk in, without scathe and in court. I promise to thee with steadfast heart, as thou art Lord and God mine, and I, Jacob, thy true hind, this stone I raise and sign today, shall I hold holy kirk for I, and of all that news me right wise tend, I, shall I give thee. And Jacob leaves the place of terror. He basically goes home. Ah, my father, God of heaven, that said to me through thy Stephen, when I and Aaron was dwelling, that I should return again to land. There I, I was both fed and born. Warned thou me, Lord, before and as I went toward Aaron with my staff and past Jordan. And now I come again to Kith with two hosts of men me with. Thou heat me, Lord, to do well with me, to multiply my seed as sand of sea. Thou save me, Lord, through virtue from vengeance of Esau, that he, he slow not for old Grim these mothers with their barren team. Our anguish, sir, is many fold, sith that our messenger us told that Esau would you slow with four hundredth men and mo. Forsooth, Rachel, I have him sent of many beasts, sir, sir present. Betide, he will, 
Our gifts taken, right, so shall his wrath slake. Where are our things? Are they past Jordan? Go and look, sir, as you can. Rob, you're muted. And I was saying such helpful things. Uh, yes, yeah, so he's going to examine, have a little look over all the, the stuff in the house, which is nice. And then an angel's going to come and wrestle with him. The day springs. Now let me go. Nay, nay, I will not sow, but thou bliss me or thou gang. If I may, I shall hold thee lang. In tokening that thou speaks with me, I shall touch now thy thee, that halt shalt thou evermore, but thou shalt feel no sore. What is thy name, thou me tell? Jacob. Nay, but Israel, sin thou to me such strength maketh, to men of earth thou must be stiff. What is thy name? Why ask thou it? Wonderful, if thou will wit. Ah, bless me, Lord. I shall thee bless, and be to thee full prop peace, and give thee my blessing for I, as Lord and he that all may, I shall grace thy gate, and full well ordain thy state. When thou hast dread, think on me, and thou shalt full well sained be. And look thou trow well my says, and farewell now, the day days. Now have I a new name, Israel. This place shall hide Fanuel, for I have seen in this place God of heaven face to face. Uh, Jacob, though we have tithing that Isaac, that Esau is here at hand. And yes, he's going to divide his, uh, his forces into three, apparently. Rachel, stand thou in the last escal, for I would thou were saved well. Call Joseph and Benjamin, and let them not throw the twin. If it be so that ye saw us before before all to you, ye that are here the last, ye may be saved if ye flee fast. And here, uh, yeah, uh, Jacob's going to go and kiss Esau. And Jacob um, bends onto his knees. He prays to God and rises. And Esau, uh, probably in a moment, goes to uh, rush into his embrace. That's the next stage direction there. I pray thee, Lord, as thou me head, that thou save me in my get. Welcome, brother, to kin and kith, the wife and children that come see with. How hast thou fare and in far land? Tell me that's a good tither. Well, my brother Esau, if that thy men obey me, boo. And, uh, yeah, Esau's going to say to his servants. Yeah, Wait up, fellows. Hold your hand. See that he and I are friends, and friendship here will we fulfil, seeing that it is God's will. God yield you, brother, that so, it so is, that thou thy hind so I would kiss. Nay, Jacob, my dear brother. I shall tell thee all another. Thou art my lord through destiny. Go we together, both thou and I, to my father and his wife that loves thee, brother, as their life. Hmm. And that ends that uh, touching reconciliation, um, uh, as it were. Um, so, yeah quite bamboozling in many many ways um after an opening which quite straightforward um jacob in another far-off country goes to sleep god has a word with him tells him to go home um and then we've got a bit of an infantry thing going on there and then wrestling with is it an angel is it god is it someone in the the appearance of god um it's um it's it's a little little confused and then um his brother turns up and all this forgiven with some dividing of some stuff thing 
Um, the stage direction makes it sound like there's an army that he's brought home with him. Um, but that's clearly not what that all was meaning. Um, it's a mystery play. There's like three guys on there with him. and, and <laughs> Yeah. We seemed quite down and out at the beginning of the play. It was, it was sort of going, suddenly having all these resources didn't seem to, 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 to fit. Um, Maybe the author didn't understand himself what the story was, so he just put what he could and then thought he'd move on as quick as possible. Yeah, it does feel a bit like that, doesn't it? <laughs> it's an odd one. It's an odd one. Um, Helen? There is an absolutely delightful bit, though. He mm. gets his favourite wife, I believe he had a number, and um, his two youngest children, Joseph and Benjamin, and he puts them at the back, in the fur furthest back rank of the army. And he says, if Esau gets to hewing us, ye may be saved if ye flee fast. Mm. And I think that's rather nice, you know, yeah. and he's being thoughtful. I mean, he's older. How many did he had? 12, didn't he? Mm. Sons. Uh, um, I, I'm seeing people nod. I have no idea. Yeah, twelve tribes of Israel, twelve. Mm, yeah, I, I, I should know, but you know, off the top of my head, no. <laughs> but but the two youngest, uh, Joseph and Benjamin, mm. he sticks with there at, at the back. I think that's rather. I thought that was rather sweet. Yeah, it feels like the play is trying to build us up to this this confrontation, uh, and then they all just make up straight away. Um, but there's just not enough substance to what's going on here. It, it's not like the last one, which was n using language in a very sparse way, uh, not the, the one before, um, but to great effect, whereas this is sort of just not giving us enough stuff to tell the story. Um, uh, or so it seems. Um, it's a very pricey kind of play in that sense. Um I really liked the opening. I thought Jacob and God, they were having a nice little, little, you know, dream play. It was quite nice. Helen. Yeah, and I mean, we've got here the foundation myth of Israel. Mm. So, you know, it's big stuff. Mm. And it's the only surviving version that we have from medieval drama. It's, it's, it's just mm. not in anything else. Uh, Helen, uh, uh, Angela, rather. I mean, it's always problematic, this part of the Bible, because... Why Why has Israel been built on a trick? You know, and so it's kind of, it is quite problematic because you just think, you know, that Jacob done Esau out of his just rights and then Esau has to forgive him. So it's always a really difficult, difficult story because you just think, why did God think that was a good idea? You know, because it happens again. Joseph and Benjamin, they're more important than all the younger ones, the, all the older ones. So it's interesting how this sense of favoritism um keeps happening through that old testament it would be difficult you were writing your story <laughs> mm. uh liza it would yeah i mean ab absolutely it's um you know uh, a pretty subterfuge move um is there an adjective version of subterfuge subterfuginous subter anyways um uh i guess i mean i'm no expert but to, it occurred to me watching that that we the two anecdotes we get of um, uh, of of Jacob there is someone who someone who will go to great lengths to be blessed um, because he he wrestles the angel and like when an angel says let go of me generally you would let go but he says I won't let you go until you bless me um, and then. Yeah, he gets his father's blessing with his mother's connivance through 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 guile and deception. Um, mm. So, but you know, he really wanted both those blessings. Is all I can say. And I don't know if that's a defense. I I I think it probably isn't. Uh, if a lawyer were here, he would dismiss it or she. Uh, indeed. Uh, any other thoughts before we go on to our next uh, play, uh, the, the possibly the most exciting play of, of the sequence? 
Uh, okay, we're going to go on to play seven, otherwise known as play seven A. Don't mind these numbering are just going to get even more chaotic as we go. Uh, this is a prophet's play. So uh, Helen's going to step down from being God or an angel um, and is going to step up to being Moses. Prophetam exit abit Deus de fratribus vestris. Omnis anima que non adierit prophetam illum, exterminabitur de populo suo. Nemo propheta sine honore, nisi in patria sua. All ye folk of Israel, hearken to me, I will you tell tithings fairly good. All what you how it befell, wherefore Adam was damned to hell, he and all his blood. Therefore will God stir and raise a prophet in some man days of our brother kin. And all trows as he says and will walk in his ways, from hell he will them twin. When his time begins today, I read no man fro him dre in way nay stand on strut, for he that will not hear his saw, he be showed as an outlaw and from his folks be put. I warn you well, that same prophet shall come here afterward full sweet and many marvels show. Man shall fall till his feet, for cause he can bales beat, though all his own foe. All that will in trough ren shall he save, I warn you then. Christ shall his name be, but all over will man profit ken with worships among men, but in his own country. Hearkens all, both young and old, God that has all in world greets you by me. His commandments are ten. Behold ye that are his men, here ye may them see. His commandments that I have brought, look that ye hold them not, for trifles, nay for fables. For ye shall well understand that God wrote them with his hand, in these same tables. Ye that these in heart will hold, unto heaven shall ye be called, that is first to come. And ye that will not do so, to hell pine mon ye go, and bide a bitter doom. Do now as I shall you wis, the first commandment is this, that I shall you say, Make no god of stuck nor stone, and trow in none god but one that made both night and day. Another bids thou shalt not swear, for no mead, nay, for no dear, falsely by God's name. If thou swear wrongly, wit thou well and wittily, thou art worthy great blame. The third is thou shalt well ye haim thy holy day and serve to wane God with all thy heart. The fourth commandment is by tale, father and mother worship thou shall in poverty and in what. The fifth command thou shalt forsake fornication and thee a make the, and life in rightwise state. The sixth commands, thou shalt not be manslayer for gold, nay fee, nay for love, nay for hate. The seventh commands, that thou shalt leave and neither go to steal, nay reeve, for more than, le than for less. The ought bids both old and young, that they be true of their tongue and bear no false witness. The ninth bids thee by thy life, thou desire not thy neighbor's wife, nay maiden that is his. 
the tenth bids thee, for no case desire not rangrously thing thy neighbour has. Do thus and do no miss. I am the same man that God chose and took the Ten Commandments of Peace in the Mount Sinai. These words I say are no less. My name is called Moses and have now all good day. And David steps up to the Oki. Um, all of the Latin that's uh, down at, that looks like stage directions may indeed be dialogue. So, uh, Liza, if you could read the Latin coming in there as well, please. Omnes regis adorabunt eum, omnes gentes servient ei. That is, all kings either adore him or shall adore him. Uh, all people serve him. Um, you, you, you may indeed say that in English in a moment. Hearken all that hear may, and perceive well what I shall say, all with right wiseness. Look ye put it not away, but think thereon both night and day, for it is soothfastness. Jesse's son, you wot I am, David is my right name, and I bear a crown. But ye, but ye me trow ye are to blame. Of Israel, both wild and tame, I have in my bundle. As God in heaven has given me wit, shall I now sing you a fit with my minstrelsy? Look ye do it well in writ, and thereon a knot knit, for it is prophecy. Mirth I make till all men with my harp and fingers ten, and warn them that they glad. For God will his son down send that wrought Adam with his hand and earth and heaven made. He will light from heaven tower for to be man's savior and save that is forlorn. For that I harp and mirth make is for he will manhead take, I tell you thus beforn. And thither shall he reign again as giant of much main unto the highest seat. There is neither king, nay swain, nay then nothing that may him lame, nay hide from his heat. He shall be lord, king of all, till his feet shall kings fall to offer to him witterly. Blessed be that sweet bloom that shall save us at his come. Joyful we may be. Rich gifts they shall him bring, and till him make offering, kneeland on their knee. Well were him that that lording and that that dear darling may bide on life and sea. Men may know him by his mark. Mirth and loving is his work, that shall he love most. Light shall be born that time in dark, both to lewd man and to Clark, the love of righteous ghost. Therefore, both emperor and king, rich and poor, both old and ying, temper well your glee against that king light down, for to loose us of prison, make us all free. And also the Latin there is uh, dialogue. Sorry, Liza. Ah, yes. Um, Ostende nobis domine misericordiam tuam et salutare tuum de no na nobis. Thou show thy mercy, Lord, till us, for to thou come to hell we trust. We may not go beside. Lord, when thy will is for to deal, till us, thy, till us thee salve and thee heal, whom we all abide. Ha! Now I have sung in you a fit. Look in mind that ye have it. I read with my might, he that made us all with his wit, shield us all from hell pit and grant us heaven light. Judici signum tellus sudore madesit a cela rex adveniet per secla futuris, skilicet in carne presence ut judicet orbem. Whoso will hear tidings glad of him that all this world made, hear me wittily. Sybil Sage is my name, but ye me hear, ye are to blame. 
my word is prophecy. All men were slain through Adam's sin and put to pine that never shall blin though through falseness of the fiend. A new king comes from heaven to fight against the fiend to win his right. So is his mercy hained, all the world shall he deem, and that shall have and that have served him to him mirth them mon betide. All shall see him with their eye, rich and poor, low and high. No man may him hide, but they shall in their flesh rise, that every man shall wake and grease against that ilk dome. With his saints many one, he shall be seen in flesh and bone, that king that is to come. All that shall stand him before, all shall be less and more of one eld each one. Angels shall quake then for feared, and fire shall bren this middle earth. Yea, earth and all thereupon. Shall nothing here in earth be kenned, but it shall be strewed and brenned, all waters and the sea. Sithen shall both hill and dale run together, great and small, and all shall even be. At his coming shall beams blow, that men may his coming know. Full sorrowful shall be that blast. There is no man that hears it, but he shall quake for all his wit, be he never so steadfast. Then shall hell gape and grin, that men may know their doom therein of that high justice. That ill have done to hell mon go, and to heaven the other also that has been rightwise. Therefore, I read Ilka man, keep as well as he can for sin and from his deed. My prophecy now have I told. God you save, both young and old, and help you at your need. Cum venerit sancto sanctorum sesabit uncio vestra. God that made Adam and Eve Whilst they did well, he gave them leave in paradise to dwell. So when that they apple et, they were damned soon and sket unto the pine of hell, whose sorrow and pains ever knew. Therefore will God upon us rue, and his son down send into earth flesh to take. That is all for our sake, our trespass to amend. Flesh with flesh will be bought that he lose not that he has wrought with his own hand. Of a maiden shall he be born to save all that are forlorn evermore without an end. And there we have no more text. Um, there, there does seem to be some space uh, allotted potentially for it, um, but uh, I, I suspect the, the, the scribe got bored. Um, I, I, the Prophet's plays are are always a bit tricky because they tend to be someone comes on and does a long speech and then somebody else does a long speech and somebody else does a long speech uh, suggesting in the chat that uh, maybe some of the Latin was uh, actually cues or uh, function of singing uh, to be sung uh, which would uh, break it up um, there's an argument also that sometimes the uh, prophets plays act as a nice little sort of barrier between the old and the new testament of uh, you know something to as a palate, palate cleanser from uh, one kind of uh, uh, element to another uh, though of course um, that might explain uh, uh, in terms of the in the manuscript uh, where it is placed which uh, i'll discuss in a moment uh, thoughts in the room about uh, david sybil daniel and moses Does anyone have anything, you know, words, anyone enlightened and Eric. feeling uh, stronger there? Uh, Angela than Eric. Oh, sorry. I think it was Eric first, really. But I was just going to say, Dave, Dave is a, a fine, cheery chap. Um, so it's kind of interesting. You know, he's really in. He says, this guy's going to come. He's going he's gonna to love mirth. He's going to love cheerfulness. And I'm singing you a great song so you can all really love it. Uh, it's brilliant. He's real cheery, you know. Obviously, nobody's mentioned that he's gone off killing somebody's husband so that he can have it away with her wife but you know that's not coming up true, true, true. no just so long as he's right about the oncoming prophet i mean that's all that matters that's all it's... that's all the old testament is here for is to predict the coming of jesus that's that's all we're here for um liza briefly then eric uh, sorry eric 
I didn't mean to tread on your toes. Um, it, it's, um, yeah, the speeches do have very distinct characters. I mean, Moses is solemn. Uh, David is quite upbeat. The Sibyl is quite mystical um, about the last judgment. And, uh, and I'm not sure what Daniel's tone was going, going to be, but it would have been fun to find out. Yeah, I, I think Moses is quite down to earth, actually. You know, uh, have a good day. Uh, everyone have a good day. That, that, you know, that uh, is and, nice. and, and it's you nice. know, it's ye folk of Israel. You know, it's all very, it's all you know. It's uh, I know that's probably just a, a modern uh, sense of it, uh, but you know, it seems you know, nice chap, nice chap. Yes, the, the, they are characterised. They're not uh, just I am making a speech now, which is nice. Uh, Eric, I was gonna say what Angela said that you know um, David is very chipper, but also um, it's very sort of. And, um, like looking at these uh, as someone who didn't have to read them um, they sort of they're very long speeches but they rhyme so they kind of flow very easily rather than sort of I mean I I, I felt like that was very quick I don't know if that's just me mm. uh, Helen yeah I mean I had a I had a moment when I suddenly discovered I was going to have to do all 10 of the commandments <laughs> I, not having read ahead, I thought, "Hang on, this page, this is going to go on a couple of pages." Yeah. But, um, but in fact, he he zoomed through them fairly expeditiously. Mm. Um, and, uh, and what what struck me about the whole thing was how important the harrowing of hell became, because what God is something that doesn't really particularly large in the current Church of England, or at least it didn't when I was a child. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, everybody's uh, in hell. But obviously it's, it's, it's tremendously important. Yes, the fact that everybody in the Old Testament went to hell until Christ died on the cross. Hmm. You know, it's, it's a terrible system. Um, Four thousand winter thought they not long, mm. and all was for an apple. Yep, uh, five a day, people eat your five a day. Um, Dude, you saw what happened with one. Yeah, hey. Um, well, if you can get it from the tree of life as well, then you will be as powerful as God. anyway. Um, we will uh, move on uh, uh, to a place of déjà vu. Um, all over again. Uh, we're going to be reading play eight, or is it play six? Because uh, um, it, it depends on where you put it in the manuscript. Uh, the man I think it's, it was misplaced uh, in the original ordering of uh, of where it lived. Uh, so uh, this is, however, a, a slightly more logical place where it could go. Um, but uh, it's a slightly movable feast in that sense, and that totally ruins any sort of uh, sense of coherence as to where we're putting any numbers anywhere um uh yes uh so uh for those who were here for york you may get a sense of deja vu um you may just may just get a sense of deja vu that may happen um uh so yes we're going to be uh, diving now into the pharaoh play and uh, we have a we have a pharaoh. We're going to have some more Moses action, uh, some more sustained Moses action. Uh, let's give this one some uh, some air. So Pharaoh, uh, give us uh, give us your opening gambit. Peace of pain that no man pass, but keep the course that I command, and take good heed of him that has your health all wholly in his hand. For King Pharaoh my father was, and led the lordship of this land. I am his heir, as age will ask, ever instead to stir or stand. All Egypt is mine own to lead after my law. I would my might were known and honoured as it awe. Full low he shall be thrown that hearkens not my saw, hanged high and drawn. Therefore, no boast ye blow. But as for king, I command peace to all the people of this empire. Look, no man put himself in priest, but that will do as I desire. And of your words, look that ye cease. Take tent to me, your sovereign sire, 
that may your comfort most increase. And to my list, bow, life, and lyre. My lord, if any were here that would not work your will, if we might come them near full soon, we should them still. Throughout my kingdom would I ken and can him thank that would me tell, if any were so worried men that would my force down fell. My lord, ye have a manner of men that make great masters us imel. The Jews that won in Gerson, they are called children of Israel. They multiply full fast, and soothly we suppose that er shall ever last our lordship were to lose. Why? How have they such gods begun? Are they of might to make such phrase? Yea, lord, full fell folk there was fun in King Pharaoh your father's days. The game of Joseph that was Jacob's son. He was a prince worthy to praise, and sithen he wish have they I run. Thus are they like to lose your lays. They will confound you clean if they sooner cease. What devil is that they mean that they so fast increase? How they increase full well we can, as our fathers did understand. They were but sixty and ten when they first came into this land, sithen have sojourned in Gerson for hundredth with winter, I dare warrant. Now they are numbered of mighty men, more, more than three hundred thousand, without a wife and child or herds that keep their feet. How thus might we be beguiled? But shall it not be, for with quanties we shall them quell, so that they shall not far spread? My lord, we have heard our fathers tell in clerks that well could read, but should a man walk, walk as a male that should fordo us in our deed? Fie on him to the devil of hell! Such destiny we will not dread. We shall make midwives to spill them where any Hebrew is born, and all mankind to kill them. So shall they soon be lorn. And as for elder, have I none awe, such bondage shall I to them bead, to dig and delve and bear and draw and to do all unhonest deed. So shall these lads behold in law, in thraldom ever their life to lead. Now, certes, this was a subtle saw, such thus shall these folk no farther spread. Now help to hold them down, look I no faintness find. Oh, ready, lord. We shall be bound in bondage them to bind. I, uh, sorry about that. I'm just a bit slow there. Um, so, yes. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, Moses is coming in with... Um, oh, he's got a wand. He's got a wand. Sorry. Sorry, being very slow there. Got a wand in his hand. Sorry, I could, couldn't find... I knew there was a stage direction coming up. Couldn't find it. There we are. I think it may be a staff rather than a wand. Uh, but I bow to your superior knowledge. I wouldn't say it's superior knowledge. Um, but yes, some sort of stick. <laughs> Pick. Great God, that all this world began and grounded it in good degree. Thou made me, Moses, unto man, and sith then thou saved me from the sea. King Pharaoh hath commanded then there should no man child saved be. Against his will away I won. Thus has God showed his might for me. Now am I set to keep under this mountain side of Jetta's sheep to better may betide. Our Lord, great is thy might. What man of may of yon marvel mean? Yonder I see a Selkuth sight, such a one in world was never seen. A bush I see, burn and full bright, and ever alike the leaves are green. If it be work of worldly white, I will go wit without and ween. Moses, Moses. And at the sound of uh, God's voice, he go goes to the bush. And God says to him. Moses, come not too near, but still in that steed thou dwell. 
and hearken unto me here. Take tent, what I thee tell. Do off thy shoes in fear with mouth as I thee mell. The place thou stands in there, forsooth is hallowed well. I am thy Lord, without and like, to lengthen thy life even as I list. I am God, that sometimes spake to thine elders as they wist, to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, I said I should be blessed, and a multitude of them to make, so that their seed should not be missed. But now this king, Pharaoh, he hurts my folks so fast, if that I suffer him so, their seed should soon be past. But I will not so do, in me if they will trust, bondage to bring them fro, therefore go thou in haste, to do my message have in mind, to him that me such harm mass. Thou speak to him with words hend, so that he let my people pass, to wilderness that they may wend, to worship me as I will ask. Against my will, if that they lend, full soon his song shall be, alas. Our Lord, pardon me with thy life, that lineage loves me not. Gladly they would me grief, if I such bode word brought. Good Lord, let some other frast, that has more force, force the folk to fear. Moses. Be thou not abast, my biding shall thou boldly bear. If they with wrong array should rast, out of the way I shall thee wear. Good Lord, they will not me trust, for all the oaths that I can swear, to never such notice new, to folk of wicked will, without and token true, they will not tempt their till. If that he will not understand, this token true that I shall send, afore the king cast down thy wand, and it shall turn to a serpent. Then take the tail again in hand, boldly up look thou it hent, and in the state that thou it fand, then shall it turn by mine intent. Sithen, Hold thy hand soon in thy balm, and as a lepra it shall be like, and whole again without an harm. Lo, my token shall be slight. And if he will not suffer then, my people, for to pass in peace, I shall send vengeance nine or ten, shall sow full sore ere I cease. But the Hebrews one in Jesson shall not be marked with that meese. As long as they my laws will ken, their comfort come forth shall ever increase. Our Lord, to love thee ought us well, that makes thy folks thus free. I shall unto them tell, as thou hast told to me. But to the king, Lord, when I come, if he ask what is thy name, and I stand still both deaf and dumb, how should I scape without and blame? I say thee thus, Ego some qui some, I am he that is the same. If thou can neither muff nor mom, I shall shield thee from shame. I understand full well this thing. I go, Lord, with all the might in me. Be bold in my blessing, thy succour shall I be. Our Lord of love, learn me thy law, that I may truly tales tell. To my friends now will I fare, the chosen children of Israel, and tell them comfort of their care, in danger there as they dwell. God maintain you evermore, and mickle mirth be you email. And just to confuse everyone, uh, yes, we have first and second poor, uh, different, completely different first and second poor from the first play this session. He hinted, Eric. Uh, um, a master, Moses, dear, our mirth is all morning. 
for full hard holden are we here as carls under the king i think it's still me um we may mourn both more and mine there is no man that our mirth mays but sin we are are all of a kin god send us comfort in this case Brother, of your mourning plain, God will deliver you through his grace. Out of this woe he will you win, and put you to your pleasing place. For I shall carp unto the king, and found full soon to make you free. God grant you good wending, and evermore with you be. King, to take me take tent, to me take tent. Why, boy, what tidings canst thou tell? From God himself hither am I sent to fetch the children of Israel. To wilderness he would they Yea, went. wend thee to the devil of hell. I give no force what he has meant. In my danger hearst thou shall they dwell. And, Fetur, for thy sake they shall be put to pine. Then will God vengeance take of thee and of all thine on me fie on thee lad out of my land weans thou thus to lose our lay say whence is yond warlow with his wand that thus would while our folk away yon is moses i dare warrant against all egypt has been i great default with him your father fanned now will he mar you if he may Fie on him, nay, that dance is done. Lurden, thou leered too late. God bids thee grant my boon, and let me go my gate. Bids God me. False Losel, thou lies. What token told he took thou tent? He said thou should despise both me and his commandment. Fourthly upon this wise, my wand he bade in thy present I should lay down, and thee advise how it should turn to one serpent, and in his holy name, here, I lay it down. Lo, sir, here may thou see the same. <laughs> Dog the devil thee drown! He bade me take it by the tail, for to prove his power plain, then he Fail, it should turn to a wand again. Lo, sir, behold! Whew, with ill a hail! Certes, this is a subtle swain. But these boys shall abide in bail. All thy gods shall them not gain. But worse, both morn and noon shall they fare for thy sake. I pray God send us vengeance soon. On thy words take rake. Steve, soldier, thou art muted. Unmute thyself that we may hear. Alas, alas, this land is lorn on life we may no longer lend. Such mischief is fallen since morn, there may no medicine it amend. Why cry ye so, lads, list ye scorn? Sir King, such care was never kenned in no man's time that ever was born. Tell on, belife, and make an end. Sir. The waters that were outboarden for men and beasts' food throughout all Egypt land are turned into red blood. Full ugly and full ill it is that both fresh and fair was before. Aho! Uh -huh. This is a wonderful thing to wit of all the works that ever wore. Nay, Lord, there is another yet that suddenly sours us full sore, for toads and frogs, frogs may no man flit, they venomous so both less and more. Great mist. There is both morn and noon, bite us full bitterly. We trow that it be done through Moses, our great enemy. My lord, but if this many may remit, rem uh, mon never mirth be us among. Go say to him we will not grief, but they shall never the tighter gang. Moses, my lord gives leaf to lay thy folk to liking land so that we mend of our mischief. 
Full well, I wot these words are wrong, but hardly all that I hight, full suddenly it shall be seen, uncouth marvels shall be made, and he of malice me. My lord, alas, for a door we die, we dare look out at no door. Of what? Rage the devil of hell, as you so to cry. But we fare worse than ever before. Great locks over all this land, they fly, and where they bite, they make great blower, and in every place our beasts lie dead. Horse, ox, and ass, they fall down dead, sir, suddenly. Way lo, there is no man that has half as much harm as I. Yes, sir, poor folk have mickle woe. See their cattle thus outcast. The Jews in Gessen, they're not so. They have liking for to last. Then shall we give them leave to go, to time this peril be on past. But or they flit aught far us, fro we shall them bond twice as fast. Moses, my lord, gives leave thy many to remove. Ye mon have more mischief, but if these tales be true. Lord, we may not lead these lives. What devil is grievance given again? Yea, sir, such powder um, upon us drives where it by abides, it makes a blame. Missel, it makes it man and wife. Thus we are, are we hurt with hail and rain. Sir, vines in montes, montes may not thrive. So has frost and thunder them slain. Yea, but how do they and Gessen, the Jews, can ye might me say? Of all these case, no thing they can. They feel naught of our affray. No, oh, the rage of devil. Sit they in peace, and we every day in doubt and dread. My lord, this care will ever increase to Moses who have his folk delayed. Else we be lorn, it is no less. Yet were it better that they were yeed. These folk shall flit no far if he go well and would. Then will it soon be war. It were better they yode. My lord, new harm is coming in hand. Yea, devil, will it no better be? Wild worms are laid over all this land. They leave no flower nor leaf on tree. Against that storm may no man stand, Micklemore Marvel, think me, that these three days has been journed such murk that no man may see the other see. Yeah, my lord! Huh? A great pestilence is coming, it is like full long to last. Pestilence in the devil's name! Then is our pride overpassed. My lord, this care lasts long, and will to Moses have his bone? Let him go! Else work we wrong, it may not help to hover near home. Then will we give them leave to gang, sin it must needs be done. Perchance we shall them fang, and mar them or to morn at noon. Moses, my lord, he says thou shalt have passage plain. Now have we leave to pass. My friends, now be fain, come forth now shall ye wend, to land of liking you to pay. But King Pharaoh, that false fiend, he will us f to betray. So full soon he will shape us to shend, and after us send his carry. Be not a bust, God is our friend, and all our foes will slay. Therefore come on with me, have done, and dread you not. That Lord, blessed might he be, that us from Baal has brought. Such friendship never we found, but yet... I dread for perils all. The Red Sea is here at hand. There shall we bide till we be thrall. I shall make way there with my wand, as God has said to save us all. On either side the sea mon stand, till we be gone right as a wall. Come on with me, leave none behind. Lo, fond ye now your God to please. And they cross the sea. O oh Lord, this way is hend. Now wend we all at ease. In Pharaoh, these folks are gone. Uh, say, are there any noise new? These Hebrews are gone, Lord, everyone. How says thou that? Oh, that tale is true. Way out. 
tight that they were ta'en. That riot, Radley, shall they rue. We shall not cease till they be slain, for to the sea we shall them sow. So charge your chariots swift, and fiercely look ye, follow me. Already, Lord, we are full blith at your bidding to be. Lord, at your bidding are we bound, our bodies boldly for to bead. We shall not cease, but ding all down to beat, to all be dead without and dread. Heave up your hearts unto Mahown, he will be near us in our need. Bah! Help! The ragged devil! We drown! Ooh, now mon we die for all our deed. And bloop, they all drown in bloop, the sea. Bloop, bloop. Now are we won from all our woe, and saved out of the sea. Loving give we God unto. Go we to land now merely. Love we may that we order and hide and ever on, tell on this marvel. Drowned he has King Pharaoh might. Love be that Lord Emmanuel. Heaven, thou attend, I say in sight, and earth my words, hear what I tell. As rain or dew on earth doth light, and waters herbs and trees full well, give loving to God's majesty. <clears throat> his deeds are done, his ways are true. Honoured be he in Trinity, to him be honour and virtue. Amen. And thus ends the York, no, sorry, Townley, um, uh, Pharaoh play. Um, so yes, those who were here for York will find that that was very similar. Not exactly the same, there are substantial differences, um, but we've got the same gag, basically, of the soldiers running on with a different plague. Uh, ah, something else has happened. No. What is it now? Um, why am I surrounded by idiots? Um, I, I, I did enjoy that, you know, Pharaoh's reaction to each successive bout of tidings. It's like, what, are there noise new? <laughs> noise yeah. as in annoyances. Mm. It's just this constant, constant running on. Um, I think we said last time when, when we were looking at York about, you know, that now they come on with boils, now they come on surrounded by insects. You know, it's it's just, uh, you know, there there's some quick change business going on here that seems ridiculously complex to do with two people and a pharaoh. Because, um, you know, um, unless they're just getting live text alerts or something. Um uh yeah so props. the props could have been good for this i mean mm. you could have been running on with all these different things that are <laughs> could you rather than change your frogs dead frogs uh <laughs> snakes lots of snakes it's certainly a locust mm. well it's a very proppy play in the nature you've got a, uh the the magic uh, uh wand staff uh snake thing um and oh. obviously you've got the red the the, the sea being parted like a wall uh, so there's there's a lot of spectacle going on in, in here, or at least there damn well should be. Um, we've got a, a burning bush, of course. How are you going to do that? Um, you know, that's always a fun one. Um, so, yeah, it, it's busy. I mean, again, it has this obsession with seed and these, 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 uh, these, they're, they're just breeding uncontrollably. I mean, it, 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 it brings to mind, uh, again, we said this last time, I think, you know, just that sort of, um the, that that kind of discourse that we've had um uh, about uh, uh, other peoples and the sort of unple the really unpleasant rhetoric that, that that goes with this uh of of you know these people they just go over they're just over there breeding uh, it's just uh, something quite quite unpleasant about that um but that it's said by unpleasant people so it's all it's uh, it does function well um other thoughts on the room about Pharaoh or Moses or anyone else? Uh, Helen. Yeah, I said in the chat, but I think it's worth replying. I had a strong deja vu of Herod of the Nativity uh, with Pharaoh. Mm. He was he came on and made his boast at the beginning. Oh, didn't he just? Um, yeah, and then also does sort of get into a child murdery frame of mind about you know well what's what, what what do we do well take out the children so it's it's it seems quite an explicit connection that's being made there it's interesting that moses is so young i don't think it's an insult when he calls him young 
mm. or a lad or whatever. I think I think Moses really is at that stage young, which puts it before the previous play. Mm. Yes. In which place do you put it in the manuscript? It's so many options. Um, I can't remember whether I went with the original ordering or uh, as it appears in the manuscript or whether this is uh, some other logic. I think this is where it lived. I think that's how it went. Yes, because he, he hasn't done the Ten Commandments yet, has he? No. Mm. No, Ten Commandments come a lot later. Mm. All been dancing around a, a golden calf, haven't they? Yeah, that's you've what been you... what you've been looking at too much Poussin. <laughs> I'm, I'm a I'm a I'm I'm the new kind of early modernist, Stephen, who 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 reads her entire Bible so she knows what anybody's talking about and completely accepts that everybody has subjectivity. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's Moses can't moment. turn his back on his people for two seconds, and they're all uh, worshiping idols. I mean, it's awful. I, I, I had what used to be called a good Christian upbringing, and it didn't take, but it's tremendously useful for early modern history. Mm. Yeah, you know, so many, so much of the drama that we've done so far has been, uh, you know, uh, biblical or very heavily biblically minded. Uh, even if it's not explicitly so, as we're 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 nearly uh, running out of material pre seventeenth century. As we are, we're on the cusp of uh, of crossing that particular Rubicon. Um, as we've uh, we've only got the remainder of uh, of Townley and York left to do at this stage. But they're both such nice cycles. Let's just enjoy every single word of this medieval ridiculousness. Well, we'll come back. You know. But the the, fine, the medieval world is particularly finite in terms of uh, the number of texts we have available, which is very sad. Um, uh, any other final thoughts about the uh, the sequence so far um, of of the plays that we've had today? Obviously, some of them are a bit broken, um, but even in a relatively unbroken state, some of them are are more cursory than others. Um, uh, some really interesting things with the Abraham play. Um, Interesting potential um, in the the Isaac and Jacob plays, but not quite fully realised and uh, and and things. But yeah, other thoughts in the room, final thoughts, or anyone wants to throw in? Eric, do you have anything for us today? Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm not very familiar with the Bible story, so I can't really compare. I mean, like I can't compare and contrast between like that. But um, I I think this one was very. Um, action oriented compared to like other cycles that we've seen and other episodes of the same cycle mm. it's very sort of um how do you call it uh like action film kind of almost mm. Mm. uh liza any final thoughts well uh, we were talking about Pharaoh being a sort of Herod uh, parallel, and he has that same kind of crowd-pleasing appeal. He also spends half his first speech telling the audience to shut up, which indicates he gets somewhat of the same reaction as Herod does. Um, he only mentions Mahound uh, once, and that's right at the end, when he's ordering them to pursue the escaping Hebrews in, uh, in his chariot. Um, and inevitably, I I can't do this without thinking either of Yul Brynner or of the excellent animated movie The Prince of Egypt, uh, both of which you should watch. Yes, uh, important primary texts uh, to look at there. Uh, Helen, any final thoughts? <laughs> Helen, any final thoughts? Are you still there? I, I, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Oh yeah, I keep on losing internet um, strength, so which is why I keep turning my mm. vision off in case that helps. Um, no, I, I think the town, the townly cycle. Yes, that's what we're in, isn't it? Mm. They are much more interesting in that they are obviously 
to an extent standalone in that they always start with the story so far. Mm. So, and they also seem, okay, we had some truncated fragments this time, but they do seem to be longer in general than the pageant type plays. Mm. I mean, I don't feel these are pageant plays. They may be, it's not my field. Mm. But they are very mobile. Sorry, it's just the, like there's a lot of description of like you know when they were moving from I don't know um, from well back and forth and all that stuff, which is quite difficult to do on a small truck. Mm. Uh, Stephen, any final thoughts? Um, not much, not much really. I mean, it's it's they're so different, aren't they? These plays, and and we haven't really got stuck into them. Um, the, the, I couldn't help thinking of it, you know, so it's sort of descending into the, into farce with the last one we did. You know, you could kind of like, there's poor, poor soldiers who have just been sort of afflicted in multiple ways and they think they've finished and then, then they get drowned. And you see a sort of reaction shot as they realise what's happening. It's like, oh, what? You know, um, and at the other end of it, you, so, so to answer, answer Helen's point, there's a lot of running around there, isn't there? I mean, there's, there's a lot of kind of Marx Brothers energy or something. They're coming on, coming off, you know, somebody stuck a plague of toads onto their head or something. They come in, they knock that off, they come in with, covered in dust or whatever. Or, um, but at the other end of it, we've got we've got those sort of um, Abrahamic soliloquies, you know. Uh, and then, it, uh, you know, those, those two, two different kinds of drama entirely, um, which stood out for me much more than as it were, the um, the voice of God stuff. So there's, there's always that tension, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, Angela, um, slightly out of your period. Uh, yes. Any any final thoughts? <laughs> A little bit. Um, but, uh, I mean, I must say that I think uh, that's very interesting <clears throat> what Steam just said, because the first Abraham and Isaac really was emotionally quite powerful. Um, particularly, you know, that the child is terrified because he's not told why this has happened. So, I mean, that was really true. Whereas, yes, at this end, uh, this the latter end, then it it's kind of lost that emotional um, kind of power. So you wonder whether, yeah, maybe it's just very hard to write that. I don't know. But um, certainly the beginning was was very powerful, I thought, and surprisingly so. I've, I've read very little, well, long ago, you know, medieval kind of things. So it was it was quite striking, I must say. And the dialogue was, was also so um, accessible. It was great. Uh, well, uh, that's it. All we have time for uh, on this particular session uh, in terms of uh, Townley. We will be returning. We'll be continuing on. Uh, the numbering system gets even more fraught and annoying. Um, uh, but we will return to uh, to the world of uh, of stuff um, as we leap into the New Testament um, and uh, and find out what's going on in the Empire. Uh, all that remains is to thank all the wonderful readers for all their uh, their, uh, uh, their their wonderful reading. Uh, that's it for uh, this particular uh, session. Thank you very much, everyone, and goodbye. That dance is done.